Okay, so in this video I'm just going to quickly show you how to add a character controller to your Unity scene. So to start with we have our Unity scene which we've created earlier and what we're going to do is we're going to be adding a, a character controller which will be sitting inside our standard assets folder. Now if you have imported a package before you'll have the standard assets folder. If you haven't you'll need to go to the assets menu at the top choose import package and the one we're after will be the characters package. Now once you do that your standard assets folder will be here and inside that you'll find a folder called characters. Within that we have three different types of characters. Uh, first person which is obviously as if you're looking out through the eyes of the camera uh, and then third person which is like just a built-in little character run around and then a rollerball. So I'm just going to look at the first person controller today. So open that up and you should find, it'll be the same for each one, different types of, or different folders. What we're after are the prefabs. So open prefabs and you'll see we've got two. The one we want is our FPS controller. So you just click and drag that and drop it into your scene where you want it to go. Now uh, to zoom in, I'm just gonna press F and that gives us a close up of what it looks like. Now you can see we've got a, a cylinder there and we've got a collider and a camera, uh, an audio listener. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that up so he's not part way through the terrain. So he can move around now. So now when I press play in my scene, what should happen is I will now be able to turn with my mouse. I can pan left and right and I can use my keyboard controls. So the WASD to move forward and sideways and so on. Or I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard as well. So that's how you go ahead and add a character controller to a Unity scene.